uh, the benefits of joining the university, what is the cost of studying in Germany, what are the benefits of uh, getting graduated from one university there, and yeah, Sofia and Kim, all yours, please. Okay, thanks a lot, uh, Ricardo, and uh, hola, and uh, yeah, good afternoon for you, good evening for us in Germany. <laughs> um, yeah, we are happy to have you here for our presentation, and um, yeah, let's get started. Um, so this is our session for today and um, we will shortly introduce ourselves in a little bit and um, then we will give you some introductions, why study in Germany and um, why is that so, so relevant and, and so nice to come to Germany for studies. And um, then we will compare some university types that are quite common in Germany. So you get a feeling a little bit on our educational system. Of course, we would like to introduce you to our beautiful city Hamburg. If you have not been to Germany yet, this is a must go place. Um, then we would like to introduce you to our KLU, to Kühne Logistics University. Um, we will give you some reasons we find relevant um, for the decision making why study at KLU. Um, of course, we will also let our students talk a little bit, at least um, what, what they um, find um, yeah, relevant and interesting at KLU. Um, and then we will uh, show you briefly our study programs and we have some time for your questions in the end. Yeah, this is us. Um, I'm Sophia Rauber. Um, I'm a student recruitment and marketing manager um, at KLU and I'm working mostly on the graduate level. So if there are some among you who are interested in a master program at KLU, I would be your contact person. Um, also after uh, this webinar. And um, here with me today is my colleague Kim from um, also from the recruitment and marketing team. And she's usually um, one of the contact persons um, when it comes to our preparation program or um, yeah, foundation program and uh, the bachelor's program at KIU. Hey, buenas tardes. <laughs> Thanks Kim for this warm and uh, nice welcome. Um, yeah, and now I would like to hand over to Kim already um, for some facts about Germany. Yeah, thank you, Sophia. Okay, um, so I hope, of course, that you've all been to Germany already because it's a great country, but if you haven't, um, it would be really great if you considered it for your studies um, because it's a beautiful country. Um, the language is a little bit more difficult than Spanish, I would say, um, but hey, the good thing about Germany is that you can study in English mostly. So let's see a little bit more about some general facts um, why Germany is a great place for students. Uh, the first thing you always have to see is that we are really good um, in the university realm. So we have excellent universities, lots of universities do their own research, um, which is great because it's important to always um, be taught as a student the newest facts that are out there about certain topics. Um, so we're very proud about that. Um, Germany is also a very safe country. Um, we have stable politics, we have a stable economy. Um, so it's a really good place just to live. Um, Germany also, fun fact, uh, has been ranked the number three country of choice for international university students, which I think um, speaks a lot about what Germany has to offer. Um, for young people, um, and I can definitely second that. Um, I studied with lots of international students during my time and they all liked it here. Um, so definitely Germany is a place to also live when you're a student. Another benefit about Germany is also that it is very international. Um, lots of people from all different kinds of countries live in the country, work in the country, but then especially 
for students. We have great exchange programs um, and we're a really open country in general for students from other countries who want to come and study here um, and maybe even stay after graduation. Another important thing about that is of course that we don't just offer um, university courses in German, but there are lots of universities in the country which offer English programs. Um, and it is just generally easy to also get around in Germany when you're not uh, speaking German perfectly, I would say, um, because most Germans can also speak really good English and some can also speak German, uh, Spanish. <laughs> Okay, the economy I also mentioned, um, Germany is the largest economy in Europe um, and especially in the bigger cities such as Hamburg, where we are located. There are really good career opportunities for graduates from universities if they want to stay in the country to work. Also a big benefit in that regard is um, the immigration policies because it is possible for international graduates from German universities that they stay in the country up to 18 months um, with a job seeking visa, it's called, to really find their job or um, find some further qualifications, some further studies, um, and then stay in the country. And this is something that not every country in the world has, I have to say. And then the last thing um, I would like to mention to you is the affordability. You might know a little bit about what it costs um, to live and to study in countries such as the US or UK. And uh, we can tell you that living and studying in Germany is considerably less expensive. Okay. Now, we promised you um, a short comparison of public versus private universities in Germany, um, because it is important to know that if you would like to study in Germany, to just get a feeling of what universities are out there um, and where they differentiate. So just to remind you, we are a private university, um, but in our city, in Hamburg, there's also a couple of public universities, um, also a very big public university, which is called the University of Hamburg. So I would just base my comparison on uh, us versus the University of Hamburg, if you will. So um, in general, you have to say that in public universities, students pay a very low tuition or no tuition at all, and maybe just an administrative um, fee of some sort per semester, um, whereas at private universities such as our students have to pay tuition. Why is that the case, you might ask? Um, this will be explained a little bit in the points you see below. Um, public universities are generally way bigger, um, so the students would sit in lectures with several hundred students. Um, Whereas in a private university such as ours, the class sizes are really small. Um, it's a very personalized approach to learning. And you can imagine that um, it might be easier for some people to learn in a small class environment um, because maybe you're used to it when you were in school or you're used to it um, from your previous university. Whereas in a big lecture hall, um, you cannot interact with the professor, for example, and you will not be able to interact with other students. Also, um, at public universities, there are limited services available, um, which means that there are less administrative staff um, responsible for you and might be able to help you then in private universities. Um, almost every private university I know has different departments that support students, um, counsel the students in different respects, um, might help with career development, et cetera. And at public universities, you're a little bit more on your own um, and you have to work and learn and organize yourself in a more self-sufficient way. 
Another important fact is that there's no or just a little link to the industry um, at public universities. This will become important to you when you're going towards the end of your studies and you might think about what you're doing afterwards. You might want to um, go into the job market. You might want to also look at other universities maybe um, or you would like to do an internship during your studies. All of these things are linked to cooperations of the universities with potential yeah, industry partners with potential companies. And if they don't have that, then again, um, you have to organize that on your own. Public universities um, are mostly bigger, but um, they're also, at least in Germany, um, older than private universities. So we have in public universities in Germany that are hundreds of years old, whereas private universities are a bit more modern, I would say, also in terms of equipment. Um, they have campi that are built in a different way. Um, at public universities, sometimes you have campi that are located in different areas of town and you have to move in between them. Um, and at private universities, it is usually one campus or maybe two campi um, close to each other. At public universities, um, the whole teaching method is different than at private universities as well. At private universities, you can imagine it a little bit more than your school. So you have more structure, you have a clear plan of what you will have to achieve um, in the years that you're studying in terms of courses and exams and also other activities um, such as uh, a semester abroad or an internship maybe. And at public universities, you're very flexible when it comes to building um, your own kind of semester plan. Of course, you have to achieve a certain number of credit points in a semester, but you're also free to say that you want to maybe skip a course in this semester and do it the next semester or um, take a semester off completely and do something else. This is possible at public universities more so than at private universities. And this really depends on you then what kind of a student you are and what kind of a person you are. If you want to go study strictly in the time that you're given or if you would like some more free time in between. The last fact I would like to mention is that public universities are usually also much bigger in terms of program ranges. Um, so you can find lots and lots of different disciplines at a public university in Germany, whereas in private universities, there's usually a more limited range of study programs. Um, also then maybe specialize on a certain field, such as we are a business school, for example. Um, so just depending on where you want to study and what you want to study and if you would like the option of also changing programs while you're in the university, it's totally up to you. Okay, welcome to Hamburg. I would just really like to show you a few pictures of our city before we go into the actual KLU presentation. Um, if you don't know exactly where Hamburg is now, you can see it on the Germany map. It is in the north of Germany and it is located between two oceans, the Baltic Sea and the North Sea. So it's a very maritime city and it's actually the second largest city of Germany after Berlin, uh, which you can also see on the map. Um, so Hamburg has around 2 million inhabitants and um, it is about an hour and a half lo uh, located from Berlin. If you go by train, by car, it takes you a little bit longer because of the traffic. Um, and apart from that, Hamburg is beautiful, as you can see. Um, I was born and raised here, so I can, I'm of course a big fan of my own city. Um, it has an old town part, but then it has also lots of new areas, cool areas. Um, there's lots of lots of things to do for students, especially because it is so diverse. There are many international people living in Hamburg. Um, it's constantly growing. 
and also we have lots of businesses um, that are growing in Hamburg. So in terms of finding a job after graduation, Hamburg is also a really good place to be. It is surrounded by water. We have a river, we have a lake in the middle of the city. Um, and it's just generally a really nice place to live and to study. Okay. Now I will hand back over to Sophia to present our university to you. Yeah, thanks, Kim. That was a little bit too quick, <laughs> my slideshow. Um, yeah, so uh, I would like to uh, tell you a little bit more about our KLU University, um, Kuhn Logistics University. Um, we are placed right in yeah, the center of the city, quite close to the harbor. So we have like a very special and unique uh, location, which also makes it a, a, a special place to uh, study at. Um, I don't want to bore you with a lot of figures, but um, it's it's um, uh, or one one thing that you uh, should know is that we are a very young university. So here you can see we were only founded ten years ago. So this year we have a big celebration. It's our tenth year's anniversary. Um, of course, we can only celebrate that in a little smaller circle and not as we planned due to the pandemic, but nevertheless, we are quite proud that we have uh, reached this um, 10 years anniversary and um, achieved quite a bit uh, in, in this uh, time period. So we are a rather young and modern university, also a very small one. You can see we only have like roughly 400 students. Um, this is quite a, quite a small number compared to a big public universities in Germany where you have like several thousand students. Um, also, I can imagine um, in your home country, um, there are also quite, quite big universities. And so this is quite a cozy atmosphere, as you can imagine, a family atmosphere that we, that we have um, and that we can live on campus. Um, we have 70 employees um, in working at, uh, in administration. So um, this means that compared to the number of students, which is rather small, we have quite a lot of um, staff there who can take care of you in different service areas. And also, um, yeah, roughly 25 professors are there for you. Um, but we will also, um, yeah, raise those numbers in, in the uh, next couple of years. And of course, not, uh, not to miss out on that, um, we have uh, more than half of the student body from abroad, usually. So it's also a very diverse community um, you get to know on campus if you start studying with us. Okay, here we have listed some reasons to study at KLU. If you don't mind, I will only pick my most favorite ones. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, as I said, we have we have like a family atmosphere on campus. Um, so we can guarantee small classes, interactive teaching style. It's more um, like school, I would say, rather than at university where you might sit in a big hall with, uh, I don't know, 300 other students. And so it's more a school teaching format that we that we um, have on campus where students can interact with the professors and with the other students. And so the you can learn quite a lot and um, during those classes. Um, and our professors and um, they they also have like an an open ear for uh, all the the students questions and concerns. So we also have a very positive student professor ratio. Um, all our study programs are entirely taught in English. This is also something to mention because oftentimes um, students from abroad, they assume that in Germany, mostly all study programs are taught in German, um, but especially at private business schools, 
um, English more and more becomes the language of the university or the language of instruction. So no worries, you do not have to learn German in, on, in order to get admitted to the KLU and everything is, uh, or the campus and university language is English. And if you come to us, I think um, it's quite easy to learn German anyways, when you um, get together with your fellow students who might also be German. Um, yeah, we have some internship or we, we have an internship and a, a semester abroad integrated in the curriculum. So um, you can have the Germany experience on KLU campus plus um, you can go somewhere for, for your internship. It doesn't necessarily have to be in Germany. You can also go elsewhere um, for your internship and also for the semester abroad. We have different partner universities um, under contract um, that you can um, yeah, that you can take for your semester abroad. Um, yeah, and then one aspect is, is uh, what I would like to mention is our modern campus in the heart of the Hafen city, which is really um, yeah, nice and uh, enjoyable, which you will see when I click one slide further. So this is um, our view or let's say this is our um, campus building over here. It's um, yeah, made out of glass and it's a campus. It's a typical campus university. So every um, lecture and um, student life takes place um, on this campus and we are not scattered across the city. So um, all the lectures take place at this one specific um, uh, location. Um, and yeah, this is our view at sunset. So very nice. You, you are surrounded by water. It's a very maritime city. So if you like that, then it's definitely a place for you. This is our um, famous concert hall called Elb Philharmonie. And you can just uh, go there like in, in 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, in a 10 minutes walk. And also our um, neighborhood is characterized by um, a very vibrant atmosphere. So there's a lot going on in terms of um, construction, but in a, in a positive way, because always, always you can see like new buildings, new shopping centers, also new park areas that are integrated. So this is quite, um, quite an exciting place to be. And, um, this was like the, the um, let's say the external or outward part, but if you go to the inside to our um, building, you will see pictures like this. So this is our foyer. When you enter the building, you will just uh, feel like being in an atrium, uh, something like that. And just placed in the middle, this golden egg here, or egg-shaped uh, room. This is our auditorium. So this is our big, biggest classroom that we have. Um, and here you can see the inside. I think we have roughly 200 seats in there. And we also use this for um, open days or, um, and other events. And this is our student lounge. So we have like a, um, let's say a specific level within um, our building, which is only there for students, where students have their learning rooms, their student lounge, where they can hang out, meet each other, um, spend their breaks together. So this is also quite nice that we give enough space to our students. Okay, um, yeah, what do our students say about KLU? I mean, we as recruiters can say a lot, but of course it's very valuable um, for prospective students or for students who are interested in KLU to also um, get a feeling about what others say. And um, what students said like in a, um, let's say in a questionnaire or in the in the portal called studycheck.de. It's a German, um, it's a German platform where students can have a say about different universities. 
And what they especially like about the KLU um, are facts that I already told you and Kim as well, like our modern and small campus, the approachable professors and, and staff, um, the teaching quality of professors. Um, it's a very safe campus in Hamburg. So in, in, in Hamburg, you, you have to imagine that you can easily um, take the public transport. Um, of course, if you have a car, you can also use that one or walk. Um, but it's quite common in Hamburg that you take, take the metro um, or take a bus or something like that. So um, I think you will, you will feel that uh, Hamburg is a very safe city and we have a safe campus. Um, yeah, you will meet a lot of international peers um, uh, during your studies. Um, we have quite a, when we talk about Latin American students, we have quite a big community of Mexican students. Um, but of course, um, we also would like to attract um, students from, from other parts um, of Latin America and the world. But so far, the Mexicans seem to, to like uh, KLU and, and Hamburg and Germany. Um, yeah, and we have a, quite a um, vibrant and great spirit on campus. I think, um, yeah, staff is also very young. Um, and approachable. And if you are new to the city and especially the country of Germany, I think it's always nice to have like a sparings partner or a fellow student or someone um, to talk to if you are unsure about anything or need any advice. So this is definitely given at KLU. Okay, um, and if you um, like to talk to our KLU students, so not only to us as uh, recruiting um, staff, um, of course you are invited to um, talk to, to students via a chat function that we have on our website. Um, here you can see the link. Um, and uh, maybe we can also post that in, in the chat if there, if there is a chat available. Um, and if you go to this specific website, you will find different student profiles and you can um, filter them according to um, the, um, their study program, if it's bachelor's or a master's program. And also I think um, you can um, filter it according to the country. Um, and I think there should also be some students from Latin America or some Spanish speaking students that you can address if you feel com more comfortable um, in talking to them. Okay, then a few words about our portfolio, because so far we have not uh, revealed what kind of programs we, we offer at all, but we have mostly talked about Germany, Hamburg and, and the KLU as a place to study in general. Um, we do offer undergrad programs and postgrad programs. Um, as for the undergrad, we have um, a preparation program or foundation program. Um, which is kind of a bridge builder between your school education and um, the entrance to a bachelor's program in Germany. And this takes usually one year. Um, and um, afterwards, after this preparation program, students can start right away with our Bachelor of Science and Business Administration. Um, this sounds rather general, business administration as, as a um, study program as such, but uh, students have the opportunity to shape a little bit and uh, customize this according to their um, interests. So we have four different profiles for you. Um, it's international management, sustainable management, so two let's say softer specializations and then those ones who are interested in supply chain management so more the logistics part and they could go for that one and we have management information systems as well for you which is more like the technical uh, side so it goes more into the IT direction but still um, under the umbrella, let's say, of the general business administration bachelors. 
And for those kind of uh, programs, Kim would be your contact person if you have any more questions on those ones. And for the postgrad programs, it's uh, that's more my uh, area of expertise. So we have um, the masters in management uh, on offer for you, which is quite a general program. Um, but we also have um, two logistics programs and logistics, of course, is a, a, yeah, a field of study that is quite specific. It's a niche field, um, but it definitely makes sense to offer those logistics programs um, in Hamburg because we have this big harbor right across the corner where you see a lot of cruise ships and container ships and um, and things like that. So logistics is very um, yeah, tangible, let's say. You can experience logistics uh, all over the city of Hamburg and especially in the harbor area. So of course it makes uh, definitely sense to, um, to learn those programs and then um, apply it uh, yeah, right uh, um, in front of you. Um, in, in the harbor or in uh, one of the logistics companies in Hamburg. So um, we have the uh, Master of Science in Global Supply Chain Management. This is like a cooperative um, program where students study with us and then with our partner in um, Shanghai, that's the Tongji University and in the US um, in Tennessee. Um, and then we have the Global Logistics and Supply Chain Management Program. This is kind of our um, yeah, best-selling master's program, I would say. This is also very popular among international students. And this mostly takes place on KLU campus, but there's also a study abroad semester included. So one semester would be abroad, the other um, uh, three semesters would take uh, take place on KLU campus. Um, all master programs um, take two years in general in Germany. Um, it might differ in, uh, in when you compare uh, other countries. I think in the UK it's mostly one year, but in Germany master programs take two years. And um, we also offer a part-time MBA program in leadership and supply chain management. The other three masters, they are um, fully taught, um, uh, they have taught um, full-time, sorry. Um, but the MBA program is a part-time program for pro professionals who work besides studying. Okay, I think that's it from our side. If you Thank have you so any much, questions. Yeah. Yes, we have one question in the chat. Uh, somebody was asking us about the, what are the connection or how the school can help the students to get to the public university. I, I understood that they can start studying at the private university and then transfer credits to another university. What do you know about that? that that's one of the questions they have. And I will uh, give you another question after that. Mm -hmm. Um, so if I understood correctly, the question was how to enter public universities rather than private ones? No, right than private ones, but right after, or maybe a start student at the private university and then move to the public university, if that is possible. If not, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good question. I have to think a little bit about that. Um, because usually, oh, um, yeah, I just ask myself, what's the reason to start studying at a private university first and then quit that one and go to a public university? Um, usually, um, or what I can say in terms of admissions, um, when students apply for a public university, they have... Um, much more competitors among them because usually public universities in Germany, they receive a whole mass of applications. Um, and uh, oftentimes there's also kind of a numerous clauses involved. So students have to um, have excellent grades. 
at um, uh, at private universities, usually they do not compete with um, such a big amount of uh, other applicants. Um, but I mean, for KLU, there's still um, like a high GPA required, um, but maybe a little less than for public universities. Usually public universities are quite, um, yeah, uh, competitive. Maybe I can also add to that, uh, just a quick thing um, is that public and private universities both have the same kinds of admission requirements that students need to fulfill. So it's either on a bachelor level, um, they have to have a high school diploma that is recognized in Germany with which they are eligible to study at a German university or in uh, terms of master access um, to universities, it needs to be a diploma from a bachelor's degree that is also recognized in Germany. So these rules are set by the overall German government, so the Ministry of Education, um, and this does not differ when it comes to public or private universities. The requirements are the same. Okay, okay. I got a question, uh, and it's about the intakes you guys have for the programs. Or if, uh, if you can talk about the prices the programs have, please. Um, Kim, would you start with the bachelor's maybe? Of course, yeah. So um, I would actually start with the preparation program, which would be around uh, 11 to 12,000 euros per year for the one year. And then for the Bachelor of Business Administration, the price would be similar around 12,000 euros per year and this times three because it's a three year bachelor program. And for the masters, um, it's um, yeah roughly let's say 24, 25,000 euros. So um, yeah, it's 12,000 euros a year. And um, yeah, as I said, master programs uh, last for two years in Germany. Okay, and how often uh, does the school have the intakes? Um, one per year, twice a year. Yeah, we have uh, only one intake per year, <laughs> so on, we start only um, in September, uh, in autumn, um, as we are a rather small university, we, we do not offer two intakes uh, yet, um, so yeah, there's no spring or summer semester, but uh, we only start in September. Okay, thank you for the question, and then I got another one, and it's related to the scholarships. Do you guys offer any kind of scholarship to the students? Excellent scholarship, entry scholarship, something. Mm -hmm. Kim, would you like to tell about the scholarship? <laughs> um, yes, so we offer part-time scholarships um, for our students. These are merit-based, so they're based on your application, which is a separate application then to the university itself for a study spot. So it requires another application for a scholarship um, and then this will be assessed um, by a certain type of committee. Um, and usually there are always some documents involved that you would need to provide, um, be it um, something self-written or um, also some additional proof um, from someone else or from other documents that you have from your academic background. Um, so this is something that we offer. Um, we do also, for certain cases, offer full scholarships, but this is uh, very rare. Um, so usually it's about a 50% scholarship that we give out. Thank you so much. And for my part, I will give you the last question. And it's related with the German language. Do you have a, any service provided by the school to help the students to improve their German language? Uh, mm -hmm. So survival, so survival program in, in German. I don't know something that helps people to get more comfortable with the with the German language and get outside and get jobs or just for the social 
activities. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can answer for the master's part first, and then you go for the undergrad part, Kim. Mm -hmm. um, in the uh, in the master programs, um, German is not like uh, included um, as a language course within the curriculum. Um, but uh, we do partner with a language school in Hamburg. So if students on master's level decide to learn German and besides studying at KLU, um, they can attend this language school. And um, if they prove a certain level, they will get reimbursed uh, to a certain extent. So KLU would give them some money back that they paid for the language course. On the undergraduate level, it's a little bit different. There, um, a German language course is integrated into the curriculum, but it's optional. So students can decide um, if they want to learn German or if they want to learn another language. Um, the two other languages that we offer are Spanish, which <laughs> in this presentation might not be so relevant, um, or Chinese, um, but definitely, of course, we offer German and we always tell our students, come learn German um, because it's just easier if you live in the country and can actually understand the people a bit. But it's optional, it's not mandatory. Yeah, and if I can add, oftentimes it, um, you know, learning the German language um, is, uh, is quite naturally done. So if, uh, for example, Latin American students come to campus and mingle a little bit with Germans. I think they can pick up the language rather easily. Also, if they hang out in their free time, I think this this will develop rather naturally, you know, with the language. So no worries on that. Okay, sounds, sounds great. And uh, what what about the the, the war permit? Hours by the moment they mean while they're student and after graduation, what are the benefits about working there, please? To close the presentation. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I think Kim talked about uh, the stay back option very briefly. Um, so there is the possibility to stay um, within Germany um, after, or let's say within the time frame of 18 months after graduation. And this time, within this time, students should usually um, look for a job and find a job. Um, and um, yeah, we know some, uh, some good examples of students from Latin America um, who decided to stay even in Hamburg, in the city of Hamburg, um, and were successful in finding a job. Um, of course, it was before the pandemic. Now I can't give you a, a right example. I think now it's uh, quite tough uh, in, in general um, uh, to, to find a job. Um, but uh, we hope for the best for next year and, and the coming years again. Um, and um, yeah, what, what a tip would be uh, when students are looking for a job that they should have at least B1 level of German, although they might look uh, for like an international company where the company language is English. Um, I think a little bit of German can make a difference, you know, as a door opener in the job interview. Um, yeah, but I think in general, several students before you guys <laughs> have made it to, to find a proper job in, in Germany. And Hamburg has quite a vibrant um, yeah, um, job market, let's say. And there are startups, there are bigger companies, uh, both in logistics and other uh, fields. Um, so it's, it's up to the students um, on yeah, how to... Um, yeah, on how to find a job. And what, what is also recommended is to um, look for a company already at the thesis stage. So if students um, decide to write up their bachelor or master thesis uh, in cooperation with a company, um, this can oftentimes be very um, valuable for their future career plans because oftentimes and students are then hired at this company after they have um, yeah, 
cooperated with them uh, in the course of their thesis. Okay. Do you got, do you have anything uh, you would like to add? Uh, I don't have any other question. Uh, in the chat, we don't have any more questions. So we would like to thank you for having the time to join us to let us know more about the city and about the school. Um, I think uh, you guys have a great programs that people can take advantage of them. And uh, I would like to invite the or uh, or participants to join us. The next webinar is, will be uh, about Griffith University, an university located in Australia. I will give them the link so they can join it right after we finish this conversation. And again, thank you again for your time. It was a great and a pleasure to meet you. Anything you need, please let me know. Um, have a good night over there. <laughs> nice you. to meet you. Good night. And tschüss, good as night. I say in German. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Adios. Hasta luego. <laughs>